First content drop of MLB The Show 22. It's not a really big one, but we got a new headliner and a brand new program representing the Nike City Connect jerseys. You can earn all seven of the new City Connect jerseys in this program, including this really sick Marlins one at the end. This one looks absolutely nasty. I have a feeling you're gonna see a lot of people use this. But basically, the City Connect jerseys is MLB's representation of what they do with the Sydney uniforms in the NBA. You wear them maybe once, twice a year, and they just look really cool representing, you know, what the city has to offer. For the Marlins, no idea anything about Miami, but it looks fucking sick. And at 100 stars, you can earn five show packs as well. So let's take a look at the rest of the rewards here. So we got an LA Universal Icon, LA Bat, the Dodgers uniform, Los Dodgers, not a big fan of it, too much blue, Giants icon, Giant bat, seems like that's going to be a trend for all of them. The Giants one, I actually think super sick. They have the uh, golden bridge on the side of the hat. Orange, the white, I think this looks super clean. You even got the bridge on like the sleeves and everything. I like that. The Diamondbacks one is really cool too. I really like the cream color. Serpentines, is that what it says? It's ran like in, like with the snake. Looks pretty sick there. Cubs won, fucking hate it. The Cubs can't do anything right. The White Sox though, the South Side, this is kind of clean. It's a little different, I like it. Boston, this is the most hideous thing I've ever seen. I can't believe people are actually gonna wear this. And then the last one, oh, you got a thousand stubs here too. Last one, the Marlins ones, far and away the best ones, my favorite. I think it looks super dope. And then you got five show packs at 100 stars. Now, how do you earn these? You got Nike City Connect missions, which is gaining parallel XP with Cubs players, D-backs, Dodgers, Giants, Marlins, Red Sox, White Sox. Basically, anybody who has a City Connect jersey, you need to get 2,000 parallel XP with them, and you'll get five starts right here. So I believe that's 35. Then you get some moments. These should be pretty easy. Tally one hit on veteran difficulty. Two runs bad in. These should be really simple. This one's on rookie. Hit a home run on rookie. Yeah, this shouldn't take you very long at all to complete. And all these are worth three stars. And then the last ones, exchange, exchange Cubs, D-backs, Dodgers, Giants, Marlins, Red Sox, White Sox player. You need 15,000, which honestly, I'm not sure if that's a lot. I don't think it's too much. Yeah, it'd be like two gold cards, so it's nothing crazy. And then you'll get, I believe it was two for each of these. I don't know if you need to do every single one, and I don't feel like counting only thing is I wish there was a player in this program somewhere. I don't know how they were kind of pick which one it'd be, but it'd still be a super cool ad. And I wonder, because there's also a handful of teams that are getting City Connect jerseys this year, new ones. I know the Brewers are one of them. The Nationals, we don't have the Nationals jersey in here. And you got a bunch of handful of other teams. So when those all come out, are we going to get another program with those jerseys as well? I hope so. I'm a big jersey guy, so I think this is super cool. D-backs and the Marlins are 100% my favorite one. So new program there, you don't get a ton with it, but we also got a new headliner, which features 90 overall Billy Wagner, left-handed closing pitcher, has a fastball, slider, changeup, curveball. Billy Wagner cards are always really nasty. 107 hits per nine, 98 Ks per nine, 124 pitch and clutch. His stats look really good. The only thing is he does not have outlier on him. He throws gas. Like if he had outlier, this card would be really, really good. But unfortunately he doesn't. Still this early in the game, 90 overall closing pitcher with the 107 hits per nine. He's gonna be nasty in the back end of the bullpen. You know what, fuck it. We're gonna rip one pack, see if I can pull him. I don't know the last time I've actually pulled a headliner. You're guaranteed a silver in these. And I still haven't pulled my first diamond. We get the worst possible pull of of course. Dude, my pack look is so ass year in and year out. This is why I don't recommend buying packs. And then the jersey is going to be the Seattle Mariners Road Uni from 1987. That gives me a Ken Griffey Jr. vibe, so I kind of fucks with it. And then stay the hell away from these packs. This pack is terrible. Okay, now that I fed my pack addiction, I just got to open one more. See if we can get lucky here. Maybe we'll have some better luck. Nope, it, it gets even worse. Ryan, Ryan Weathers. Oh man, I'm never going to pull a diamond at this rate, bro. So I'm not a huge content drop by any means, but we still have a couple more things to look forward to this week. Opening day is on Thursday, and they made it so 
sound like something is coming out this day. I have no idea what, whether it's going to be moments, a new program, what it could be. Hopefully it's something big though. I mean, it's a good way to hype up the game, good way to hype up and celebrate that's opening day. So hopefully we see something there. And then we have a new event on Friday. So be sure to finish the current event. You only need 20 wins. It's pretty easy, three inning games, but this event will be using lineups from the same seven teams from the Nike City Connect program. So Marlins, Cubs, White Sox, Giants, Dodgers, Diamondbacks, whoever else was in it. And we also will get a new headliner set three, a big dog set two, which will have the number one prospect in all of baseball. So we already know who that is. It's Bobby Witt. We'll get a new Bobby Witt Jr. card on Friday. I don't know if it'll be a 90. 91 overall, but nonetheless, he should be pretty good. But that's all the content that we have today. Nothing huge. I think that Nike City program will take you maybe 45 minutes to complete. Should be pretty easy. Then the headliner pack, I don't think it's worth it. I think that card will be under 10K in a matter of a week. But let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Do you like the program? Do you like the uniforms? Are you going to go after any? Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.